Sex at Dawn. It just came out uh, last year, How We Mate, Why We Stray, and What It Means for Modern Relationships. It's a really incredibly interesting book, but they, they basically, looking at the you know, origins of, of uh, you know, humanity, primate, and early, early historical, and you know, through all this archeological research and so on, they basically argue that we were never meant to be a monogamous species. And they also point uh, out to cultures around the world that um, experience no jealousy, you know? Uh, like a like an like a Aboriginal culture in China, uh, you know they, they they write about in there. So so you know so we don't know how much is is a social and cultural imprint, and and that's why I think we have to be kind of like in a sense like tender and and gentle with ourselves in, in this phase, you know, be, be, because we don't really know what 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 we want to evolve into yet. You know, but that's okay. Also, like let's 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 give space for that. You know, in, in a way, it's a it's a beautiful, um, you know, phase. You know, in 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 the developmental process. You know, but I, but I think that we need forums. You know, where where people can you know discuss and 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 explore, and 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 where you know we're allowed to kind of think. I mean, I think that's part of been the the the, the cruel hypnosis. You know, of, of modern society is we associate kind of like. Um, you know, thinking with schools, with academics, with separation, with discipline, with specialization. You know, we, we haven't really been given the, the license to think, you know, freely and humanely and kind of uh, interdisciplinary, you know, interdisciplinarily. Yeah, sorry about that word. Um, you know, which is what somebody like Buckminster Fuller recognized. Uh, Buckminster Fuller, uh, how many people here know Buckminster Fuller's work? Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay, not so many. So, so for those who don't, uh, he was a major inspiration for the film that I made, uh, 2012 Time for Change. He was a, a design scientist in the 20th century who had like a, a huge epiphany when he was a young man. And um, he basically realized that you know, human, hu human design was, was deeply uh, flawed uh, because we were designing kind of uh, in opposition to nature's principles against nature. So, so he, he decided to develop a uh, design science and he created a whole lot of inventions, including the ge geodesic dome, uh, you know, which, which uh, yeah, basically we're seeking to, you know, figure out how do we work with nature's principles rather than, rather than against nature. So for instance, he noted that, um, you know, the way we, we build uh, with, with right angles, like you hardly find right angles in nature. You know, so he proposed that a different form of uh, architecture could develop that would be based on, you know, triangles and, and hexagons and so on. And I think we, you know, we even sort of experienced that at Boom, you know, what a relief it is to be away from right angled structures. For, you know. So I, I may have wandered from your point though. Did I get, did I get, did I access your point? What's that? So, sorry, could I just expand on his question a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, basically, you posted something on Facebook, like, about, I don't know, a month ago, and it generated loads of controversy about, about the whole sexuality thing, because yeah. you said, um, uh, well, you can probably remember what you said, you were saying about how if women in, who were with people in positions of power, um, Basically, well, you, you you know what I'm saying. It's what 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 you posted on there. Yeah, I, I, I did. Have I you mean, thought I, any more about that, and how yeah. do you, and if you could like explain it to everyone what you said. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I probably have to stop using Facebook as a personal uh, sketchbook of ideas. Um, I, it's so tempting though as a writer it's like crack you know it's like you get you get an idea and you can have like an instant reaction. Um, um, and yeah, I mean, I guess, um, you know, patriarchy, which we know, you know, is what we're still in and coming out of, hopefully, uh, was basically based on a uh, extreme suppression and repression of female sexuality. Um, but, you know, in, in, in a relationship of oppressed and oppressor, you know, often modes of, of complicity uh, develop and, 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 and ways in which you know power relations are subverted and, and so on. So so you know just in, the, in 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 our society as men you know use their status and power you know to to have access to women. Uh, you know women women will use their 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 sexuality and beauty to have access to you know men in power or something. I mean I, it, it's it's an aspect of the evolutionary process that we can see, the, the question is really just to bring it up to light because, you know, 
we're going to have to cultivate different values, I think, you know, as, as we go through this transition. And, and you know, what, what's actually attractive, you know, may, may, also, may also shift. Um, but it's just an evolutionary process that we're all enmeshed in, you know, and sometimes uh, we, we overstate, you know, how we're thinking, you know. <laughs> Question? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to ask a more general question. Um, all you say is uh, good and good ideas, but I want to ask you if you think you are separated from the people you are saying um, they are not thinking like you. And I think um, we all can ask us this question because um, there are many movements uh, in, around the world which are in a good thinking, but they, um, I think they think they are separated from the, I think, I would call them enemies or something. Okay, yeah. I, it's not different than yeah. they, uh, we acted before and before, it's not no. a different revolution. That, than that's not how I feel. I mean, I, I, um, I, I, don't, I don't feel that separation. I mean, I, my, my, my sort of um, mystical uh, belief is uh, in alignment with uh, the Hindu philosophy of, of Vedanta, which, which is basically that there's a, a singular consciousness that, um, you know, is infinite in its expressions, and, and it enjoys creating the, these endless masks and persona, uh, you know, of, of separate individual identities, so it can learn more about its infinite creative capacities. Um, so that's what I think we are. So I don't feel any separation from any group, and I, and I see every aspect of, 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 of separation as as, as, an, as you know a necessary part of the puzzle. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I I think that um, has to be more. Um, yes, I think, or more. More expressed. More expressed for all people because uh, when you see, for, for example, in Germany, the black bloc is very aggressive. And uh, they uh, do like in former times the people they get um, the same. The enemies are you know, <laughs> and it's nothing different. The difference is to think right. you are the same like the other people, and you can absolutely uh, think or do the same things like uh, these people do. And this is the difference, I would say. Absolutely. I mean, I, I totally agree with the Dalai Lama is that, you know, all, all anybody wants is a better life. So you show them how to get there and they're going to take that path. Yeah. But you have to kind of, you know, because of how people have been, you know, conditioned, you know, by the media, you know, um, we have problems. You know, pe a lot of people, um, you know, are not able to think. They have, they've been sort of systemically entrained, you know, not to be able to think um, clearly, you know, about, about larger issues. You know, and 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 so that's going to require some type of uh, you know retraining, relearning process. You know, uh, you know, a, a transition. I think, you know, not that everybody has to become like you know a genius and know you know what's happening in every field, but um, you know, I mean, really, uh, one one thing about the media. There, there's um, a really great book, by the way, by uh, a combination of a cell biologist and a political philosopher called Spontaneous Evolution. Um, that book um, yeah, basically puts forward some of the same ideas that I've been talking about, that there could be more of this like transmutation, like the caterpillar into the butterfly, from one form of civilization to a truly uh, planetized uh, culture. And uh, it, it relates it to uh, things that happen in uh, evolution, like we have punctuated evolution, like sudden emergence of much higher uh, levels of complexity. Um, you know, and, and so, um, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, media from the perspective of a cell biologist, you know, find, you find that on the, uh, you know, a cell in itself, you know, has, you know, gets information, you know, and, and, and communicates in a sense. Uh, so anyway, what, what they kind of came up with is this idea that, really, if you think about um, the function of media is not so much to convey information as it is to coordinate behavior. <laughs> 